G'day guys, it's Calvin from the Cartoon Company in New Zealand. I do heaps of 1UZ stuff, and whilst I am doing a full video on the repair of this yellow ute, I'm just going to take a little bit of a sideline and talk about checking ignition timing. Real basic, and it's something that a lot of people forget about. They think because these things are computer controlled and you can't physically adjust the timing, that you don't have to check it. It's kind of a lie. You can uh, often check it and find out other things that are going on. So we'll have a quick look. So we have the, the yellow U. I've connected up my timing light, given it uh, battery power and earth. Put the clip onto number one cylinder. Number one is at the front left. And I've connected the clip, the, the inductive clamp the correct way around. Now my timing light does have a dial on the back which allows me to adjust the offset on that timing light to where it comes out. And we've got the diagnostic plug under the engine. It's not for scan tools. If you wanted to connect a scan tool, you'll find it doesn't work because in here you have uh, the VF1 or ENG, which is the, the communication line to the scan tool, and it doesn't exist. It's not in there. So you can't connect your scan tool. So I've used my special diagnostic tool right there, and uh, often known as a split pin, and I've bridged E1 and TE1. That puts it into base timing mode. Also over here is the W, or the check light, and when I bridge these two, it should output a code on the check light wire. So I would put it to the earth, Oh, sorry, I'd put it to the power and to the check light. Unfortunately, that's not wired correctly. It's not working, and there's no check light on the dash. So if this ECU has got any fault codes, I can't presently read them. But we're not about that today. We're about checking the timing. So I've put it into base timing mode. Got my timing light. Timing light, and it's actually right off the side, so it's meant to be up here by the 10 degree mark. I'll bring it around 10 degree mark, it is 30 degrees in the wrong place. Bring it up by the zero mark, so it's showing 40 degrees. That is not correct. I'll show you the difference. Hopefully we can see this. When I pull my diagnostic plug out, pull out, the timing moves by about five degrees. And there's a slightly different note to the engine. We'll just have a listen to that start again. So that's how we, we check the timing on a 1UZ diagnostic tool and have a look at that timing. Normally it should be when it's all lined up at the 10 degree mark. This one isn't. So it pays on a late model fuel injected car to still check the timing to to see if other things might be wrong. Cam timing could be out. I'm yet to pull it apart, and we'll show that in the main video on the repair of this vehicle. So just to recap, so when you check the timing on one of these 1UZs, you bridge uh, the terminals TE1 to E1, run your timing light off number one, and flash it down onto the crank pulley like you normally would expect. It should be at 10 degrees at idle, uh, with that diagnostic plug uh, terminal bridged, about 15 without bridging it, 15 to 17. So I hope that's helpful, and we'll talk to you again. Catch you later.